Okay, by popular request, we are going to make a little dog or cat sweater. Um, you're going to start off. I'm using a worsted weight yarn and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And you're going to start off by chaining 41. Make your slip knot and chain 41. Okay, so I have 41. Now I want to do a row of double crochet. So in the fourth chain from the hook, we are going to place our first double crochet. And then a double crochet in each chain until we return to the other end of our chain. Okay, so we should have, <clears throat> excuse me, we should have 39 double crochets, including our turning chain three. And we're hoping to hit somewhere between 11 and 12 inches. And I am right at about 12 inches without stretching it. All right, so row two. Chain one, turn your work, and in the very first stitch, do a single crochet, and do one single crochet all the way back to the other side. And don't forget to put a single crochet in the top of your chain three turning chain. You should still have 39 stitches. You're going to chain one, Turn your work, and we're going to do single crochet in the first stitch and a single crochet in the next two stitches. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet coming down to our very first row. So we're skipping over our single crochet row and coming down to the double crochet row. We're going to do a front post, then the next stitch, a front post, and the next stitch, a front post. So you started the row with three singles and then three front posts. Make sure the stitches behind it stay empty. So you should have three empty stitches back here. So one, two, three. This is the next stitch we want to work in right there. So we're going to do three single crochets over the next three stitches. And then one, two, three. So it's over here. So you can skip three doubles and come to the fourth one and do a front post double crochet. A front post double crochet in the next two stitches for a total of three. So one, two, three. Make sure we leave three empties. One, two, three and then do three single crochets. Okay, so you're gonna repeat that all the way to the end of your row. Three singles, three front post doubles, three singles, three front post doubles, three singles, and alternate to the end. So one, two, three. And I will meet you at the end of my row. When, <clears throat> when you get to the end of your row, you should have three single crochets. So you're going to start with three single crochets and end with three single crochets. And then row four, chain one, 
turn your work and work one single crochet in each stitch all the way back to the other side and you should still have 39 stitches. At the end of the row, we still have 39 stitches. We're gonna chain one, turn our work, and repeat the front post row. So we start off with three single crochets We're going to come down and go around the front post from two rows below, if I can find it, there it is, for the next three stitches. And then we have three single crochets. Remember, you just have three empty stitches behind. And then three front posts. three singles three front post and three singles and you're going to alternate that to the end of your row and every single row will start and begin with single crochets on your front post on your front post rows, you'll start and end with three singles, and you start to form this nice little ridge pattern. Okay, so you're going to repeat rows two and three, two being all single crochet and three being alternating three singles, three front posts, three singles, three front posts. You're going to repeat that until your work is nine inches going this way. And then we'll come back and we'll start to do the reduction for making his the animal's uh, neck area. So work on that. Just repeating those two rows until you reach approximately nine inches and make sure you end with a single crochet row. Okay, so I am at nine inches and now we need to start shaping the top. So what we want to do is at the beginning of the row, we're gonna do two single crochets together. Then a single crochet. Then our three front posts. work our way across like normal until we get to the last three stitches of the row and then we're going to do another decrease stitch okay so we're at the last three stitches and you're going to do the first two single crochets here two single crochets together and then a single crochet in the last stitch. Chain one, turn your work, 
Now we've decreased that row by two stitches. And on the single crochet row, it is one single crochet into each stitch. At the end of the row, chain one and turn your work. So we're going to start off with a decrease, two single crochets together. And then we go right into our front post doubles. And you're going to work your three front posts and then three singles all the way across till you get down to the last three stitches and we'll meet up there. Okay, so I'm at my last three stitches. This decrease is going to include the front post. So you go to make it like you normally would and you only pull through two loops. Then you go into the next stitch and pull a loop through and then yarn over and go through all three of those. And that gave us our decrease. We have one stitch left. Chain one. Turn your work. And do a row of single crochet all the way across in each of the stitches. At the end of the row, chain one. Turn your work. And this is a decrease row. So it is into our first stitch. Yarn over, come down to do the front post. Just pull through two of them and then pull through all three. And then go right into the next front post and the next front post. So you work all the way across with the normal stitch pattern, three singles, three front posts, and we'll meet up at the end of the row when I have three stitches left. Okay, so I have three stitches left. This time is going to be two front post double crochets together. So we just pull through two. Then we yarn over and come around the other post and pull through two and then yarn over and pull through all three and our very last stitch is a single crochet and you're going to chain one and turn your work and do one single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of the row, chain one and turn your work. Okay, so you want to keep reducing your stitches every other row and when you're on the front side, you the side where you can see the, uh, the cable ridges. The side where you see the cable ridges is going to be your reduction row. So you're going to keep doing that until it measures eight inches across and hopefully six inches high because we want the total length of the sweater from the neck down to the bottom of the back to be approximately 14 inches. So let me see where I am at now. Okay, so I'm at about 10 and a half inches, so I got to reduce it down to eight inches. So I've got two and a half more inches to go. So I chained one, I turned my work, and my first two stitches are going, my first two stitches are going to be a reduction stitch. So it's a single and then 
whoops, yarn over, go in for my front post, pull through two, and then pull through all three. And front post. Then I work like the normal pattern all the way across till I get to the last stitch. And then I'm going to do another reduce with two, this one looks like two front post double crochets together. So we will meet back at the end when we get to the last three stitches. Okay, so I'm at my last three stitches here and it is a front post. So we only pull through two and we'll leave two on our hook and then another front post. And go through two or and pull through two and then all three and our last stitch is a single crochet. See how they're merging together. Okay, so we chain one, turn our work, and single crochet in every stitch all the way back to the other side. At the end of the row, we chain one, turn our work, and we are on a reduction row again. So I think by now, you should have it down what you have to do. You keep reducing when you're on the right side row by one stitch on either side until you measure across eight inches. So I'm gonna work on mine and I'll meet you back when I get to my eight inches and I want to end on a single crochet row. All right, I am right at eight inches. And just under 14 inches, about 13 and a half to 13 and three quarters. So that is the back or the top. This lays across the back of the animal. So we want to Fasten off and I'm going to leave a little bit for stitching it together for the armhole. Okay, so now we need to make the uh, belly side. I wouldn't mind having a sweater myself made like that. That's a nice stitch, don't you think? All right, so we're gonna set this aside. For the belly side, we are going to do just single crochets. We're not gonna put the cable part on it, the, you know, the front post double crochet, because we don't wanna make our little furry friend uncomfortable. So I have chained one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19. So then we're just going to single crochet into each stitch all the way across. So we should end up with 18. Basically your stitch count really doesn't matter on this part. You just want it to be a minimum of five and a half inches so that, uh, you know, we let our little furry guys have ease of movement. Okay, so when you get to the end of the row, you're gonna chain one and turn, and you're gonna keep going back and forth with single crochets until you are approximately four to four and a half inches long. And nothing special, just single crochets. And then once we reach our four to four and a half inches long, we're going to start doing our decrease stitches. 
and forming like the chest area or the clavicle area for a cat or a dog, something like that. So just single crochets back and forth until you've reached four to four and a half inches. Okay, so I'm at my four inches and we're going to chain one and turn and we're gonna start reducing pretty much in the same manner as before. So we're going to do two single crochets together, single crochet all the way across until we get to the last three stitches, two single crochets together and end with a single crochet. Chain one, turn your work, and do a regular single crochet in every stitch all the way across to the other side. When you get to the end, you chain one, turn your work, and this is a row with the decrease at the beginning and the end. So you will continue doing a decrease row every other row until this part is three inches wide. And hopefully the decrease is at least two and a half inches. A little longer would be better for their little legs, but you need at least two and a half inches. So let's finish that and we'll meet back. All right, so I am right at three inches coming across here. So eight inches for the back side and three inches on the belly side makes it fit an 11 inch neck. So we want to fasten off, save a little bit so we can stitch our pieces together. Bring on our front or our back. Okay, so we want to have right sides together. So obviously this is a right side and this is the wrong side and you're looking at that going oh my gosh how's that gonna work okay so this part is super important because we've got to give the animals room for their legs you know where their legs connect to their body it's kind of wide it's flat but it's wide so we want to make sure that we're not restricting their movement so we are going to if i can find the beginning of this measure an inch from the top which is right here so that's one two rows right one two three rows. So you can stitch it an inch to an inch and a half. So I'm going to do four. One, two, one, two, three, four rows. Okay. I'm going to attach my yarn into my yarn needle and line it up with the top there. And we're going to stitch four rows. That's one, two, this is the third row. And my fourth row. Okay. And then this part where you started to reduce gets attached to where you started to reduce. You should have somewhat of a defined 
um, like corner for where the angle starts. So I'm just going to stitch this down the side. I want to work over top of that end. Okay, working in my end. Going a couple different directions so that it's not so easy to come out. Okay, now trim that later. I'm not trimming it yet because just in case, just in case I need to take it apart. Makes it easier to find. Okay, so we know we did four rows. So we have one, two, three, four rows. So we're going to stitch the other side to four rows. I'm gonna work in my end here. Then line up our rows where we started to reduce right here. Okay, before I go too far, get a good look and sew it down the side. The fun part's coming up. Get to make it even more decorative for our furry little friends. Yeah, I'm not sure how this orange color is coming across on camera, but in person, it's kind of like a burnt orange and I just love the color. So since this is for Jenna's cat, now mind you, it can be for a small dog as well, but this is for her cat. She wants the collar, the little faux sleeve, and the trim to be in this very pretty forest green. So I think it'll look pretty cool. Okay. Just tie that onto this one. Okay, so turn it right side out. I think that gives nice leg room. We'll see. We'll see when we get to put it on them. Okay, so we're going to change colors and we're going to do the neck first. And find the beginning of it. There it is. So I'm going to use this forest green. I think she's trying to make him look like a pumpkin. Okay, start with a slip knot. And we're going to attach wherever on our collar. Do a slip stitch, chain one, and a single crochet. And then we're going to put a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So we're making um, like a turtleneck. Okay, when you make it all the way around, you're going to slip stitch into your first single crochet not your chain. Okay, and then chain two. And in that very same stitch, you're going to do a double crochet. And do one double crochet into each stitch all the way around. And when we get to the other side, we'll meet back and I'll show you what is next. Okay, so we've made it all the way around. We are going to slip stitch to join to the top of the first double crochet, not the chain two. Chain two. And on that same double crochet that you just attached to, you're going to do a front post. A front post double crochet. 
and the next stitch you're going to do a back post double crochet and then a front post and then a back post so you're going to alternate front post back post all the way around until you meet up on the other side when you make it all the way around, you're going to slip stitch to join in the top of the first front post, double crochet, not the chain two. Chain two. And then repeat the previous round one more time. Front post around the front post, back post around the back post. Okay, when you make it all the way around, slip stitch to the top of your double crochet, knot the chain two, and fasten off. And we'll come back to work in the end, just in case for any reason we have to take it apart. So see, it's got this cute little turtleneck going on. Now if you need it thicker you can always do more rounds but this is going on a cat. He has a short little neck. All right so for the sleeve this is the part that I worry about the most. So we're going to do a round of single crochet. So we're going to slip stitch, chain one, and do a single crochet all into the same space. And we're going to single crochet at the end of each row. And I'm being kind of not real tight with it. Still working in a single crochet all the way around. Okay, when you get to the other side, you are going to want to slip stitch to join. Now you're going to chain three. Turn your work because we're only going to work on the, the part of the sweater that has the ridges. We're not going to work on the underside. That way we allow our furry little friend plenty of movement. So we want to do a double crochet into each stitch till we make it to the underarm seam. Almost there. Two more, I think. That's good. Okay, so we want to chain two, turn our work, and on that same first post there, we're going to do a front post. Then on the next one, a back post. And a front post. So you're going to alternate front post double crochet with back post double crochet and work your way across. We're just making a little faux decorative sleeve. Okay, chain two. Turn your work and do one more. Okay, so this first one is a front. On mine because the stitch count is whatever your stitch count comes up to because we went by inches and front front back back okay so you want to do the stitch the same so like if this is a front you do a front post 
if the next stitch is the back, you do a back post. And then a front post. And you're just going to work your way to the end of the row and fasten off and move along to the other side, the next sleeve. And do the same thing, row of single crochet and then just the um, back side, you know, the cable side, will get the faux sleeve for the decoration so that our little friend has plenty of movement and fasten off. Okay, so see how that makes it look like there's a little sleeve, but it doesn't go all the way around so that we are allowing for movement of their little legs or arms. So let's do the other side and we'll meet back. All right, both sleeves are done. We have one last thing before we work in our ends and put it on the kitty to see if it fits. So we're still using our green. We're gonna start on the belly side. Slip stitch, chain one, and a single crochet in the same spot. We're gonna do single crochets all the way around, give us a pretty little border. Okay, so when you get to your inside corners, pull through, then come over to the next space, pull through, and then yarn over and pull. Okay, when you get to an outside corner, it's single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the same spot to give a nice clean turn. We're going to work single crochet all the way across the bottom. See, that's how it's looking. So we're going to do single crochet all the way across the bottom. When we get to the corner, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, come up the side, inside corner. It is two single crochets together. So let's work on that. And we'll meet back and see if it fits the kitty. All right, let's work in all our ends and go try it on. Okay, so here it is. We're finished. Yoo-hoo! Let's go see what Mr. Whiskers thinks of his new sweater.